All right, guys, we're here with Randy Zimmer, one of the stalwarts there in the whole rally scene in the United States. Um, first off, congratulations, a fine podium in the first global rally cross. Congratulations yeah. on that. Uh, yeah, lightning struck twice on uh, that weekend. It was a uh, victory from the jaws of defeat. Um, well, one thing I have to bring up, the car you chose to do the rally cross in, a Mazda Miata. Yep. Not exactly the first car that pops into your mind when you're thinking about rally or rally cross. Why a Miata? Oh, there's a lot of reasons. Uh, uh, first, it's a little baby race car, mm -hmm. and uh, it's pretty light. Uh, what appeals to me the most is that it breaks a couple of the rules right away. Uh, you have to have a metal roof and a metal... Uh, B and C pillar and things like that, and since it doesn't have them, it already uh, it's it's unique well, <laughs> right from the start. Uh, so they, but really, what happened was Bill Wood came to me at uh, uh, New Jersey and said, "Why don't you bring out your old Can Am car?" And uh, that had a Mazda rotary in it, and I still have it. And I was thinking, you know. I could do something with that. And the plan was to go and buy this car, tear it all apart, and throw the rotary and the Hewland in the back of it. And as soon as I got home, the uh, uh, I got in contact with the guys, and they said, yeah, we're looking at the end of March for the first event. And that goofed everything up, because there's no time to do that. That was way too much engineering to get done in that much time. Mm -hmm. So it, I'm stuck with the regular Miata motor, which I never expected to have to use. And uh, that that Miata, it's from it's an old Grand Am car, or what's it from? What series is it from originally? It's from eBay, from a, a used car lot that was selling it in uh, Ocean City, Maryland. It, it looked like it was a pretty straight car that hadn't been crashed, that wasn't rusty. I wonder how many racing careers or championships have been won starting with eBay. <laughs> I have to ask you, how were you able to get it in, you know, a rally car without a roof and the B pillar and stuff like that? How how do you sneak by the rules that way, or did they just make a, allowances for you? I, I talked to Mike on my way out from the third New Jersey event, mm -hmm. and, uh, and I asked if Miatas were going to be allowed, and he said, yeah but they'll have to have a roof. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the standard factory roof is fiberglass. So uh, it's uh, it's not steel. So, oh, wow. <laughs> you know, it looks like, a, it, it looked like a good way to uh, keep the, the weight down low. Mm -hmm. uh, so I see you're already entered, you're going to be entering the next one in a couple of weeks, right? Yeah, I left the car up with a friend's in Portland. Oh, okay. And uh, are you, do you still have that other little monster with a rotary engine that you have planned? You still have that in the works, or? Yeah, it's it's going to take a little time to do, but I do have the uh, the engine, the transmission, a bunch of gears. But uh, it'll take a little time. All right. Um, the whole rally cross in the United States. Uh, I gather you really like it. You. You like the idea, like the way it's being run? Are you happy with it so far? It's like anything else. Uh, it's going to take a while for everybody to get used to what's going on and, and come up with uh, with the plan. They had a little background from New Jersey, which is good. Mm -hmm. uh, there were new promoters this time, and whenever you put a new mix of people, it, it always makes it a little more interesting. But I've been in real Can-Am races where we've had... Uh, the checkered flag go a lap early or we've had had to go an extra lap so uh, it's not uncommon for problems to come up it, it happens all the time for everybody well i i you know I've, I've been around racing a long time myself and i've seen things much worse than that happen i you know pace cars pick up the wrong car i mean oh yeah I, you know, heck i was just watching a replay from um the FIA GT, and they're coming for their to start, and they throw the green flag, but the pace car was still on the front straight. 
<laughs> and it caused a big wreck. I mean, even the best of the best have their problems. And stuff. So, um, besides Rallycross, what about the whole rally series? Are you still going to be doing that? or No, I sold the Subaru. That's kind of where the money came mm -hmm. from to be able to do this. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, I dye my hair. So I may not look as old as I am. I'm really old. And, uh, it's getting rough being out in the woods and hours and hours and hours and hours. I really like having a paddock mm -hmm. and pavement and mm -hmm. telephones and internet and press rooms and bathrooms <laughs> and heat. <laughs> And if the car, uh, car breaks down, the tow truck's right there. The truck comes, you don't have to walk through the, through the mush. And no, no bears will be eating me. Uh, it's really a lot nicer. Mm -hmm. Well, we do have the next club, the rally cross up in uh, outside of Seattle. I think it's next week, right? Or a week, a little over a week from now. Yeah, just. <laughs> you sound like you're not ready. <laughs> I'm, I'm not ready. I thought there's three weeks between, but... Like I told you before, I lost one in between. Mm -hmm. So I'll be leaving a week from today. Mm -hmm. All right. um, well, we're going to wish you luck out there. We're going to be following you. They had great coverage. I was watching it all both days live on the Internet. So it was great. And then, yeah, who knows? You might be seeing yourself on ESPN and all that stuff. Well, you, I'm sure you are. You made the podium the first weekend. So. Well, they, they didn't expect us to be on at all. But it is a two-hour show. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a chance that they'll flash something or but I won't be surprised if I'm not there. Well, I'll talk to those guys and yell them if they don't. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> How do you expect the guys from the two-wheel drive class to move up to the all-wheel drive class if they don't get the coverage? So, all right, Randy, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. Uh, we'll be talking to you soon. Good luck out there huh? next week. Well, thanks a lot, Tommy.